Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can delete a SharePoint site, and also, importantly, how you can then recover it if you ever deleted a site by mistake. So there's actually two ways that we can go about deleting a SharePoint site. Um, the first way um, would be through the SharePoint Admin Center. So that would be through, uh, as an admin, I'm going into the SharePoint Admin Center under Active Sites, finding a site, selecting it, and then clicking on Delete, and that will then uh, delete it and remove it. Um, I'm going to show you that in a moment, but I'm also going to show you the most common way that a SharePoint site is typically deleted, which is by the user themselves. So this falls more under when we're looking at recovering a site, how we can um, sort of find it if someone else has deleted it via the SharePoint site interface. So I've actually just created a little uh, test site, just called Delete Me Please. And I'm just going to go to that site by selecting the URL. And what that's going to do is open up my SharePoint site. Now, this is just completely blank. There's nothing on here. It's just a default SharePoint site. But I've created it because I want to show you how typically people end up deleting SharePoint sites. Because quite often, if you're a SharePoint admin, you're probably um, deleting them via the admin center. But users will delete it through the SharePoint site itself. So the way to delete it through the SharePoint site is by clicking on the cog and then going to uh, site information and then view all site settings. Um, now, people might find themselves here in a couple of different ways, and I've seen this um, being deleted in the past before by accident because quite often people are deleting SharePoint sites that they don't really understand. So it might be that they're, they're thinking they're deleting either a sub-site or a different site. They might think that they're deleting uh, a document library. They can get a little bit confused because these settings pages do all look the same. They're not branded um, very easily and things like that. So quite often people get confused. Now we're in the site settings area. You can see under site actions, the third link down says delete this site. Now when you hover over it, you will notice it will say permanently remove this site and all contained content. Click to see more information about this operation. So when you click on delete this site, um, it will then bounce you through to this page. Now, this is now giving you a warning. It's saying you are about to delete the following website. And this is where hopefully if people are kind of paying attention, it is telling you exactly which site it is. But not every SharePoint user is going to really understand the URL of what it is that they're deleting. It's then saying delete the website will send all the content and user information to the site collection recycle bin, including documents and document libraries, lists and list data, website uh, settings and configurations, permission levels, groups that have been created, uh, and sites of the of this website collection. So basically, any subsites or anything that sits underneath it. So say for example, if this uh, if this had subsites like under delete me please, it had delete me one, delete me two, delete me three. Deleting at this layer will delete all the subsites and anything else, all the content that sits underneath it. The final warning, so to continue, click delete. Important, this action will permanently delete all content and user information, um, but the hard disk space will not be immediately available. The reason why it's not necessarily going to be immediately available, so say, for example, if uh, you were looking to clean up your SharePoint admin center and get some more of that storage space back, um, it's not going to immediately give you that back until it's completely gone. And we're going to look at uh, how we recover it later and how long we actually have almost like the ability to recover it back for. But until it's completely gone, it's not going to give you that hard disk space back into your total SharePoint storage um, threshold. When you delete a large site, SharePoint removes data gradually for performance reasons. To perform immediate deletion, you need to run a set of commands using, for example, PowerShell or the object model, find information, see the SharePoint help system. So again, you if, you, if you're a more advanced user, you're a SharePoint admin, you might be using PowerShell, you might script this to delete it. But as I say, just by deleting this, it's not actually completely gone. We can get it back and it's not going to be giving us any of the hard disk space back just yet. Then I just need to click on the delete button. So I click on delete, and again, it's giving me a final, final, final warning saying, are you sure you want to send this website uh, to the site collection recycle bin? I'm gonna click on okay. That's then working on it. It's gonna delete my site and it'll bounce me back to the SharePoint page, because obviously um, th that site doesn't exist anymore. So how then do we recover this SharePoint site? So if I go back to the admin center, um, so I can go to Microsoft 365, um, homepage, which is office.com, 
click on the admin button as we were saying before, click on SharePoint to go to the SharePoint Admin Center. Uh, this is then going to load up the Admin Center and we're going to click on Deleted Sites on the left hand side. This is then going to show us uh, all the deleted sites. Now it might just take 60 seconds to show up, so I just pause the video there um, to wait for it to, to show up. In real life, to be honest, you'll never really find a need to delete a site and get it back within 60 seconds. It will just be here by the time you get here. It's probably going to be a day or so later once you realize that you've made a mistake or someone else has deleted it by accident and it will appear in this deleted sites area. So as I say, under deleted sites, we then have a list of our deleted sites, which are sites that are retained for 93 days and then permanently deleted. Now I should say now and caveat this, um, once they are deleted from in here, they are gone. They are completely gone. You cannot get them back. Um, your support desk won't be able to get them back. Your Microsoft partner won't be able to get them back. Dougie Wood, myself, won't be able to get them back. Uh, Microsoft will not be able to get them back. So I do advise that you do have a backup and recovery tool in place. Um, so if something was deleted permanently, uh, you could get it back from a third-party backup tool. Now, if I wanted to recover this, all I need to do is click on it and click on the restore button. Now, you'll notice if I go to this site now, at the moment, it's deleted. It, it, it basically um, will say 404 file not found. Um, it's deleted. It's gone. So any links that are pointing to this SharePoint site at the moment will no longer work. It will just say 404 file not found because that site technically has been deleted and it doesn't exist yet. To restore it, all I need to do is click on to that restore button once I've selected it. And that will then start processing the restore. As I say, this won't necessarily um, reappear straight away. You might need to give it a few minutes um, for it to reappear. Um, but very soon, it will be available again. So if I go back into active sites, and I was to search for delete me. So it was actually this delete me please. Um, I select it. Um, it's now back. So that site is now fully back. I can completely access it. Um, and the site is back a a as it was. If you enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow and reach more people. Um, you'll also get more SharePoint admin uh, sort of notifications for tips and tricks on how to administrate SharePoint properly. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to use the comments feed below. Ask any questions that you might have about deleting and restoring documents, and I'll be happy to help you. Thank you.